it straight on the eye. I remade the truth, Jay, a couple days at a time. And that day in my mind lies within that Jay that you yeah, find. Now, I look. said I spit. Alright y'all, what is going on? This is Kel coming to you with another video. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will appreciate it a whole lot. If you just discarded that subscribe button, make sure you hit the, the bell too to be notified whenever I post a video. So that's a plus for you and it's free. But today, we're going to be talking about how to get any sneaker that you like. Jordans, Adidas, Nikes for a very cheap price. Now a lot of people always say that they can't afford these sneakers or how do I get my collection? How do you afford your sneakers? All that type of stuff. If you, if you haven't already, please go back to my like older video. I did a video on how to make money as a teenager, so if you haven't seen that, go watch that before this video. But if you already know how to make your money, but you just want to save more money and not be able to spend all like $300 on a pair of shoes, stay tuned. I will have all the tips and tricks for you guys. So today we'll be talking about how to get the sneakers for cheap. And yeah, let's get right into it. Alright y'all, so real quick before I actually get into this video, for all my subscribers, I'd like, just like to announce to y'all that... I probably will not be uploading as much, but that, well, it depends. If I make the basketball team, because I am going to try for my school's basketball team. If you guys know, I did move, so uh, hopefully I make the team down here. But I'm going to try for the team. If I make it, the uh, the uploads will like kind of slow down. I know I've been uploading a lot lately. I've been back on the ground for YouTube and everything. So the uploads will most likely slow down if I do make the team. But if I, again, but if I don't make the team... I will be able to upload as much as I want, to be honest, and like I'll be able to focus on YouTube. So it's either it like I wouldn't really be sad if I don't make the team. I will tell y'all if I do make the team. I'm not like one of those super type of people. But trials is next week. I'm getting ready for trials. I'll probably vlog uh, me like training or whatever at the gym. Not really training, but just practicing, like polishing up on my game. Also, if you haven't seen me play basketball before and you actually think I'm trash or something, go watch my basketball videos. You'll see that I'm really not trash. Like. I'm in my opinion, I think I'm pretty good. But that's off topic. But I just want to tell you guys that I will probably upload more if I don't make the team and then upload less if I do make the team. So that's that. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the first tip to buying sneakers for cheap is to shop at boutiques. Sneaker boutiques are is a great way to get sneakers for cheap because they like they have a lot of sales. They have sales that normally wouldn't uh be used at like a Nike or a Foot Action, Jimmy Jazz, any major retailer. That's what a sneaker boutique is. It's not really a major reseller, I mean retailer, and they also get shoes that were used. But boutiques are pretty much sneaker stores that uh, get buy, they buy, sell, or like they buy, sell, and they get, they do trades pretty much. So it's kind of like a consignment shop, but it's just for sneakers and like Supreme and like fashion stuff. It's pretty cool. So like round two is like a sneaker boutique. If you guys know what round two is, um, I actually got my Jordan 12s from Shoe Guys, which is a sneaker boutique in Augusta, Georgia. So yeah, shop at boutiques. Boutiques is a great way to get Jordans and like Adidas, Ultra Boost, everything for cheap. Cheap. So uh, online, type in sneaker boutiques and then or go on Instagram, type in sneaker boutiques and there's a big long list of Instagram profiles that have sneaker boutiques. So yeah, and always check the sneakers too. Next up, you want to use eBay. Now a lot of people are hesitant on eBay, but eBay is a great way to find used sneakers or uh, brand new sneakers for a great price. Um, you can get, particularly when I sell on eBay, I uh, sell for really good prices. I never really charge like rate prices for anything. So you can get a pair of Bread 11s. Like I know Bread 11s go for like 400. You could probably find Bread 11s for like 250, 260 on eBay, uh, used. So that's that, that's just really good. Like eBay, but always like I said with boutiques, always check the sneakers first. Ask for more pictures. Uh, also check the if you're buying from eBay, check the eBay seller's rating. If they have any negatives, I don't care. If they have any negatives, do not buy from them. Any negatives, do they need to have like a 98 or higher or a 99 or higher. Do not buy anything anything from anybody that has a negative rating or is they're, they're below a 98%. Do not do it. It's not worth your time. I want you guys to go through all that, like the whole resolution. I mean, the like going to eBay Resolve and the resolutions. Do not do that. So if you do decide to buy from eBay, make sure it's a authentic seller. Ask for more pictures and do every do everything you can to legit check those shoes and legit check the seller before you buy anything. Because you don't want people getting your credit card information or like scamming you or anything. So just don't do it. But eBay is also a great way to sell. I mean, great way to buy shoes because people honestly just buy shoes to resell. Like you can uh. Like if say you missed out on a pair of Concord 11s that just released, I know Concord 11s haven't released, but the Concord 11s that just released, say you missed out and you're willing to pay that extra price because they're sold out everywhere, go on eBay, buy them for like 400, even though they retail for like 220, 225, so buy them for 400 if you're willing to do it. So I mean I know that's not really cheap, but eBay is a great way to find stickers that you've been looking for on the hunt for, but just always make sure they're legit. But 
like like the last thing this is the last thing we say about eBay eBay also has like a, a major steals like you can tap when you go on eBay type in used go um type don't type in used Jordan type in Jordan retro on the search bar and then go to filter and type in used you can find all types of Jordans Jordan fives threes twos everything you can find all the drawers for a good price so ebay is a great way to buy sneakers next up we got negotiation now negotiation be can come with anything so if you say you're on goat or you're on grilled ebay craigslist macari okay okay i don't know about macari but it, say you're on any of these buy you sell trade all that type of stuff say you're on any of those apps websites anything where somebody's selling something make sure you make sure legit obviously but also negotiate if you feel like a price is too high and you can get it for maybe 30 or 40 dollars lower maybe 20 dollars lower always negotiate message the seller be like hey do you mind letting me get this for like 20 dollars cheaper i ain't got the money right now i'm really desperate for these kicks you think you can let me you know just negotiate be smart but if a person said if the if the seller says no he means no do not like okay so if he says no and you know that he might give in you can always tell what the tone of the way that they're typing back to you like the tone of what they're saying you can always tell whether they mean no or if they're just saying no because they don't want to sell it for that price like you if real people that like know what i'm talking about like, if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about i know that does not make sense but you know what i'm talking about anyways if like if you know what somebody is actually like really trying to do business and they're really they might go lower even though they say no but if somebody if you know somebody saying no and they won't go lower do not bug them because they will not sell you the shoe they'll block you they'll do anything because i remember i got blocked on grail because i was trying to get some jordan sevens for like 60 dollars when it was like 120 so don't be one of those people i learned the hard way i got blocked on grail but do not if they if negotiate but make sure you keep it make sure you keep it good like make good negotiations don't do no stupid like if a if a shoe is 150 do not try to get it for 60 or 40 dollars like don't do that so that's negotiation next up is the the most important thing is patience if you want cheap sneakers have patience there's tons of places like sneaker steel on instagram sneaker steals there's everything soul collector they got everything they always post and that's another thing i forgot to add that go on sneaker blogs sneaker blogs have tons of steals i remember on a sneaker blog it was like jordan you can get the pure money for us for like 120 dollars go on twitter go on instagram follow sneaker steals follow any sneaker blogs and turn them up turn on post notifications you'll be notified whenever they post anything about cheap sneakers and trust me they're always legit because they're from major retails like finish line full lock all that when they they basically post when they have sales like shoe piles has sales all that type of stuff so just have patience like carefully look for stuff if you don't have patience you'll end up buying something that you'd regret buying and that's not what you want to do so the last step is to have patience that's the most important part if you have money it's better it's better saving it than spending it to be honest it's better saving your money if you really don't want to buy anything because we've all been there before you really don't want to like you you can't get the shoe that you want but you really don't want to have that money just sitting in your couch so you want to buy a sneaker anyways we've all been there before but trust me, that's not the way to go. If you really do not like that sneaker, do not buy it. It's not worth it. So that is today's video. If you guys like this video, please give it a rate, comment, subscribe. Again, if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified whenever I post a video if you hit that bell button, subscribe button. Also, and thank you to all the OG subs, loyal subs. If you guys haven't already, please follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. CalebJ8277 for Snapchat. Notorious underscore KJ for Instagram. If you guys like this video, please give it a rate, comment, subscribe. You already know how it goes. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.